Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for beryllium hydride. So here we go. Uh, beryllium hydride is BeH2, which gives us two valence from the beryllium plus two hydrogens each with one valence electron for just a total of four valence electrons. Okay, so we know that hydrogens can only have a single bond. So, in this case, the beryllium has got to be the central atom. So, we have the beryllium in the middle, hydrogen on the right, hydrogen on the left, and just a single bond for each one. Two electrons, four electrons, that's our total number of electrons. This should be the structure, okay? So, let's go ahead and verify by checking the formal charges real quick. So, the formal charge on beryllium is going to be the two valence brought in minus... Um, the one, two bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And now the formal charge on each hydrogen is one electron brought in minus one bond for each hydrogen minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. Multiply that times two because there's two hydrogens with the same setup. Overall formal charge is zero. That's what we're looking for because this is a non-charged particle. Okay, so zero formal charge neutral particle. That's what it's supposed to be. Now we can talk about the shape. Um, this is going to be a, a linear shape because it's the um, it's an A X2 structure. Okay. Um, in a linear shape the bond angle is approximately equal to 180 degrees. Um, in this case there's, looking at the central atom beryllium, there's one, two bonding sites, which means sp hybrid, 1s orbital, 1p orbital, two total orbitals, two bonding sites, okay? And because these are hydrogens on either side, they're, they're both the same, which means that this is going to end up being a non-polar compound, okay? That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.